Hey everybody, welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. So in the last episode we made it here to the Florana Jungle after we defended our home planet. And we can get two weapons. We can get the Plasma Whip, a devastating melee weapon with a long reach. This whip, uh, The whip can be used to strike multiple enemies simultaneously. Or the N60 Storm, an excellent all-purpose weapon for a variety of situations. We'll be getting the whip first. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. This is literally like the uh, Shock Ravager in uh, Future Tools of Destruction. Cool. Oh, I guess that's it. It's just reversed. Uh oh, we're taking damage. Nope, apparently not. There's a skill point that we will be getting here. And it requires us to not take damage at a certain point, so... Yeah, ooh, true sea monster thing. I did not know that was a one-shot kill. I seriously didn't. And yes, there is like Annihilation Nation in this game where it's like the uh, whole Mukao battle arena thing again. So we will be having to deal with that as well. Remember, get as much money as possible, so destroy all of these little... Lights, I guess. Are they lights or nubs? Do not fall in the water in this game because there is an evil fish that will come up and eat you. Also, hit this multiplier crate. Eh. The jackpot crate multiplies all bolts and experience gained for a limited time. Oh, so it is experience as well. Okay. Wait, no, not that. I wanted the plasma whip. Plasma whip can cut through these really fast. Yeah. There we go. Uh, let's switch back into the plasma launcher. Ah, uh, I wish I had this. I wish I had the um, what you call it, the charge boots. I believe you do get a variety, a variant of them in this game. I don't know where Ratchet always loses his stuff because he always gets all these goodies again in games. Like literally, even like the bolt grabber, bolt smasher, all that stuff. He gets in multiple games and he just loses it every game. You think it'd just be like a direct continuation, but nope. Not at all. Probably be too easy if they did it that way. Like the game itself being too easy. Some of these can be destroyed, not all of them can be destroyed. Unless they fixed it in the remake. We'll see though. Well, maybe they did fix it. Nope! See, that one didn't fully break. Also, we can high jump to get up here. Uh, is there anything up here? Oh. We were supposed to get up here. It's this little secret area, though. Oh, some more boxes. Could always use more money. Boom. Boom. And boom. Can we break these windows? No. It's not going to be like Spiral 3, where if you blow open all the windows, you're going to get a skill point. No. You're dead. Any more going to come? Yep. Oh, we got a few more. Two this time, not three. Still enough to get a little bit of experience on our weapon. Why Why do we never pick up ammo for this weapon? I feel like this weapon gets the least awesomeness. You can climb a ladder by jumping onto it and press... I did not know that, game. Thank you for telling me, as I was already doing it. Man, this weapon upgrades slowly, too. I mean, seriously slowly. Eh, no secrets over there. I believe there is a statue wet you can get around here somewhere. I can't quite remember where it is. I think we can go right under here. So let's grab some ammo. Just click this ammo button and then you can get max ammo. But we're not gonna wanna we're not gonna wanna do a long jump. Just, can you stop that? Just hold down X. And oh, there's a bolt actually. Sweet! You hear the weird birds in the background go, ah, ah. At least I think they're birds. So let's collect some more goodies. I feel like some of the sound effects and stuff are missing in this game. I don't know, remakes are really weird with when it comes to Sony. Like, the God of War ones were really well done, and same with, like, I guess it's mainly just Ratchet and Clank. Like, Deadlocked was bad, and oh. That's what happens when you go into the water, just because you didn't have enough distance. Okay, with this we should be able to make it down here safely now. Nope, did not want that weapon out. Can you actually fire? This weapon fires so slowly. 
Oh yeah, give me plasma. Oh, there we go. We got some nitro launcher finally. Oh, this crit. I'll show it to you guys later. I want to actually do this first. Without it, because I want the experience for the weapon. Boom. Like, look at this. This is a lot of experience in here. Oh god. Don't fall in the water again, man. Oh, and... More enemies. Oh, I guess we missed them. Guess we can't go back in. That was an, uh, an Inferno crate, though, where you can actually become invincible. Be quiet. We know how to do this already. And it, like, it creates it so you're invincible, and you but you can only use your wrench. And I wanted to get the experience first. I believe it's supposed to open up in the original game, though. Like that doorway. I believe it's supposed to open up. For some reason, it didn't this time. Now, one of these, again, has a spot where we can jump down on. Oh wait, no, I don't think it's jump down on. I think it's jump around. There it is! We got the statuette! What is it of? Wait, is it Ratchet? It's Ratchet. Yeah! You got the Ratchet trophy! Yeah, trophies are gonna be important in this game too, so make sure you collect them all. And Mini Ratchet! Oh, I guess I don't have all the uh, trophies for this game, so we'll be trying to get Platinum on this game as well. Just like I did in Sly. This game I do know how to get it as well. It's a little difficult because some of the stuff is hard, but it's it's fairly easy. If you know what you're doing at least. Oh we got double double sea creatures and some bugs. God damn it, the God, these things do way too much damage. And how come that one didn't die? Ooh, they both didn't die apparently. Plasma Whip. Let's do this. Oh yeah, when your nanotech upgrades in this game, it doesn't fully heal you like the future series. And not at all. Stop giving me Plasma Whip. Give me a Nitro Launcher. Thank you. Why do you... Wait, can I destroy these? Ooh, 23 bolts apiece. Let's go, goddammit. That was dangerous. Goddamn game trying to send me into the water to get eaten by a fish. Oh, I swear it was, like, gonna, only gonna give me three, but maybe it's because it picked up 20 and then three. Just gotta make sure we get as much money as possible, because we want to get... to not fall in the water with the fish. Because we want to get the blaster weapon as well. So we want to get as many weapons in this game as possible. So then we need to go over here and smash all these little lights. <laughs> God damn it, stop going in the water. At least that time you broke it. Because four of these are worth about a hundred. Well, a little less than a hundred, but still pretty darn close. I remember, money is important in the Ratchet and Clank series. Actually, money is important in real life, too. Money is important everywhere. I just want to try and upgrade this weapon to V2. And, oh, you're all dead. Oh, wait. You lived. Same with you, apparently. They're all living. That's not what we want. Ooh, that looks like something down there. Seems kind of like it's just a wide open area. Zipline time. Let's see what's down here. Uh, Ratchet, we have company. Where? Behind you. Where? Behind you. Very funny. You having a good time? Ah! You trespass on sacred ground. <laughs> now you walk path of death. But, sir. Path of death. Now we walk path of death. Yay, path of death. Ah, oh, because we had to spend money on ammo, we don't have enough to get the darn weapon. Now, this is the part where you don't want to take any damage because, guess what? There's a skill point involved, and if you take damage, just die. Like, dying will reset it, but taking damage ruins it all. So watch out for these bouncing boulders. Almost as bad as bouncing Bettys. God darn bouncing Bettys in Call of Duty. Those things are terrifying. Okay, my computer is just being stupid. There is also a bolt, I believe, in here. Oh, it does work. Yeah, you just have to double tap it. It's not tap it once, it's double tap. I don't know why they don't say that. 
Okay, for this. Long jump. There we go. And I believe that's all the bolts on this planet. Perfect. These, once again, are used to buy skins, just like they are in future Tools of Destruction. And skill points, I believe, are used to activate cheats. Kind of like they are in uh, the future series as well. I don't know about Quest for Booty, though. Like, I really have never played it other than like the first little bit. Wow, those enemies are uh, taking some stupid damage there. Okay. I want to time this right. Oh, god darn, now we have to die. Uh, can you heal me already? I guess I'm going to do one damage. Why is it only doing one damage? Fall into the lava. Hey, at least now we can buy the blaster. No, you were supposed to buy max ammo, but whatever. Do the enemies respawn? Because if the enemies respawn, well, then that means we can... Get more weapon experience and hopefully upgrade this. So like I said, I want to try and get as many skill points that I remember at least all in a row. Oh, you guys died. Oh, and V2. See, your weapon actually gets more and more attachments as it levels up. In the other games, it's literally just, oh yeah, your weapon leveled up. Oh, it only changes to V5. Okay, cool. There we go. But you know what's actually better for this? The plasma web. At least for these enemies. And now for these guys, on the other hand, this will be better. Like, this blaster has good range in this game. Ooh. Oh, no. Whoa! Yikes, scary. Whoa, there's a bug right there. Almost got hit by him. No cigar. Okay. Okay, no fire here. Woo! Okay, now we got fire and boulders. These boulders don't bounce, though. So, that's something easy to look forward to, I guess. Yeah, there's the skill point. Excellent. Okay, we walked your path of death. Now, tell us what you know about Dr. Nefarious. Who? Dr. Nefarious! They say you're the only man to ever beat him. Who? Jeez, this guy's even dumber than- Captain Quark? Yeah, <laughs> Captain Quark! That's it, Quark. You've had this coming for a long time. Oh yeah, we get to kick Captain Quark's so ass. Be too powerful to defeat with your wrench. Gadgetron recommends using your other weapons. Oh yeah, you recommend using other weapons? Well, that's kind of what I'm doing. Seems easy enough right now. Oh, we got some basic enemies here to deal with. So far, so good. Do get down here. Fight like a man. You have to use your bat meringue. It's pretty sissy. Oh, more of these little guys. Oh. And some bugs, apparently. You just killed your teammates, dude. You're not a very good boss if you freaking kill your own teammates. Oh, I took dumb damage there. But we defeated him. <laughs> so, Fork has completely lost his mind. Now what? Just keep the mask on. He thinks you are his new leader. Great. <laughs> Incoming call. Incoming call. This is Captain Sasha of the Starship Phoenix. The President has asked me to assist you. Uh, hi. I see you have located Captain Quark. Yeah, we got him, but, um, uh, well, he thinks he's a monkey. Of course. <laughs> Bring him to the Phoenix, and we'll see what we can do. Sasha out. Okay, looks like we have to go to the Starship Phoenix. Let's go. Zoom. Now we gotta go sit through the loading screen again, like we always do. 
I swear the, the sound effects for the rocket's a little off, like... It gets very delayed, and oh, it's doing the whole four loading screen thing again. Yep, the Starship Phoenix, which actually shows up in Deadlock for literally a, a, a maybe a minute in the entire series, or like, game, and then you never see it again. Ever. Like, future, you're on planet Kerwan, so, oh, we're going the ship's ass. Look at that, really? This ship is amazing. Welcome aboard the Phoenix, gentlemen. Whoa. Impressive, isn't she? The Phoenix is the pride of the galactic fleet. She's equipped with the latest technology. Holodeck training suites, auto vendors for armor and weapons, virtual firing range, starfighter upgrade system, even a Gadgetron VG-9000 game system. A VG-9000? Of course. With a Mavix Fireball Pro controller, VR headset, and a Zero-G dance pad attachment. Will you marry me? Well, you've obviously had an exhausting trip. Why don't you stop by your quarters? We prepared a custom living area for Quark, so he won't get in your way. Come meet me on the bridge when you're ready. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll be going to the bridge to meet Sasha. Not after exploring the ship, though. See so you guys.